My name is Alicia and I'm one of the participants representing Singapore in the iCool Challenge under the U19 category. I am also known as Participant SG3055 and this is my presentation. So more about me. Despite representing Singapore in the iCool Challenge, I was actually born in the Philippines. And to elaborate further on my robotics experience. I have five years of experience with robotics, which is basically a third of my life right there. And in addition, I am a student with homework, believe it or not. And well, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up there. <laughs> I may or may not miss a detail here. And that's this. Yep. This is me. This is my face. D d d don't mind the filter, alright? <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. Alright, thank you for your time. Moving on to the next slide. So, as a student with homework, it means that I go to school. And since I go to school, I have co-curricular activities, also known as CCA which was first introduced to us in primary school. Well, you see, I first stepped into the wonderful world of robotics in 2015 when I was in primary school, and after at least a year of lessons, it really changed the way I view the world. Like, 10-year-old me would just sit there, think about how machines and devices work, and what was the logic behind them. However, everything changed when I stepped into secondary school in 2019. So back in primary school, we were taught Lego Mindstorms and everyone's favorite coding software, Scratch. <laughs> so when I got into secondary school last year, I went for the CCA trials and managed to get in. Then that's where my experience with CoSpace started. In the same year, the whole of the robotics club was sent for a Robocop competition. And it became my very first competition in Robocop. I'm not gonna lie, it was stressful. And believe me, it created a whole new level of tired. But hey, it was all worth it in the end. Like, sure, programming is mentally exhausting, but once that program of yours starts moving, no one else can understand your happiness and joy. Like, seriously. One thing I've learned from CoSpace Robot is that variables are one of your best friends in programming. In fact, I've developed a motto for myself when I'm doing work. When in doubt, Use variables. <laughs> and what I've gained through the ICO challenge are two things. One of them is the experience, because I will never forget the moment when the virtual robot crossed that finish line. I have actually never been happier that day. <laughs> and the next one is kind of a two and one thing, but I would narrow it down to realization. My video on the RCAP Academy YouTube channel made me realize how supportive my family, my friends, and my school are, and I felt very, very grateful. So after watching the videos on the first season of the iCool Challenge, I concluded that one participant I'm most interested in is participant SG3021. She mentioned that she used functions in her program and her robot managed to fulfill all the objectives in under two minutes. In under two minutes! That's... My goodness! I am not very sure what functions are, but I definitely want to learn more about them from her. 
I'd want to be able to share my knowledge on robotics to those who are very interested in learning and or want to know how to solve a problem in their program. I feel like sharing knowledge with other people and teaching them will not only benefit them, but also you, as it can help you polish your existing knowledge and abilities, making you better at what you do. The next part of the presentation will be on video analysis, and I'll see you there. One strategy I used in my program is following the lines on the roads of the map. There were some areas which were uh, terrifying because the robot was at least a centimeter away from falling off the road. But hey, it all turned out okay in the end. Not to mention the roads that didn't have lines, but I'll get to that later. So for line following, there are six sensors underneath the robot. The robot is programmed so that if one of the sensors senses white, it will turn to move to white in its direction where it was sensed. Repeat that code for all six sensors and boom! You've got a robot that follows lines, or in this case, the road. As for algorithms, I basically have variables as some kind of counters which would count, for example, how many checkpoints and reds the robot has passed by. For example, on this red, the default for red is to turn left. However, once it reached the third checkpoint here, which you can't really see, the variable checkpoints would have been changed to 3. You couldn't really see one of them too, but there are also two reds in these positions. However, in the reds, the robot would have to turn right instead of left. So I coded it so that once the robot reached the third checkpoint, the next two reds would make the robot turn right instead. You might have noticed the little red sitting over here. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. Once the checkpoints variable says, Hey, we made it through all the checkpoints! And so I coded it so that the robot reaches the final red, it will turn left. One of the problems I've encountered was this little bit here. You have no idea how long I've stared at my screen trying to figure out how much speed the two wheels of the robot should be set to to achieve that perfect curve. But, but, after hours of burning my eyes, I ironically noticed a little detail. I don't know if you've noticed it already, but you see, the walls or outlines on this road are at least four times as thick as the other roads. Then it came to me. I don't need a perfect curve. I need to wall ride this thing. And hoo boy, everything became clear to me. I changed the programming so that when it sends to yellow, it will change to a kind of reverse line following code. So like if it sends to white, it would avoid the white line instead of going into it. I was unbelievably happy when it worked that I started having some mini celebration in my head. We have come to the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for your attention. This was Elisha, or participant SG3055, signing out. Have a good day, everyone, and stay safe.